All right, so doctor items. Parents always ask me, what do we need medicines? What medical things do we need when we bring the baby home? So there's there's a couple go-tos I have. Um, so babies often get colic. Have you heard of that? Yeah. Okay, so colic, it's we call it the rule of threes. It, it presents around three weeks of age. It can go up to three months. It lasts about three hours, usually early evening, and about three days a week, varying. We don't know exactly what causes colic. There have been lots of studies. Is it something with gas or the GI tract? Is it a form of allergy? Um, we don't have w a one reason. that. So we try a lot of different things. And a lot of these are homeopathic remedies, which aren't proven to help, but they can't hurt. So one that you'll hear a lot about is Mylocon, right? It's like gas sex for babies. Mm -hmm. um, you can give it multiple times a day. may help relieve their gas. Why not? If it works, great. If it doesn't, we're in the same place. All right. All right. Um, everybody needs a thermometer at home. So, I got so a yeah, what do you got? A lot of different thermometers yes. out there. I like the old school ones. Uh, this this I, I, I would consider a updated old school one. Okay. We grew up with that glass thermometer. Yeah, mercury. Remember? Yeah. And, 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 Biohazard now. Yeah, and you put it in, it slip out. Some, sometimes it gets sucked down your throat. It was literally the worst thermometer. However, I felt like it gave the most accurate temperature, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, they got the guns, right? Right. And now they got this, and you're saying it goes under the armpit. Now, no, not well, not in the first two months. Well, first two months is rectal only. Rectal only. Right. Okay. So you want a rectal thermometer in the beginning because rectal is the most accurate. And the difference, fever is defined as 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And in a baby under two months of age, if they're 100.4 or higher, they have fever, it's a big ordeal. You're often doing a lot of tests to make sure that they don't have something more serious than the cold going around the house. But if they're 100.3, it's often a wait and watch. So that 0.1 makes a big difference. You want it very accurate. After two months of age, you can do it just a regular underarm and just go with it. Okay. I, I just, looking at this with a humorous lens, right? Yes. I just feel... Yeah. Um, the uh, the anus yeah is just hot you just already. been waiting to uh, right. use it's the word just, anus it's boiling yeah uh, so I feel like already you're going in, in there with a temperature I just I don't know how to hell the armpit and yeah. the asshole uh, yeah no, the rectal thermometer right it is usually a little higher but you want the most accurate temperature yeah but is yeah. is that the most I would feel like the rectal temperature would be 117 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> no, I mean, There's so like, many things I want to say if we weren't not, on Amazon I Live well, with you know. and your meat thermometer. Sorry, did I, could we swear on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Probably I mean, not. I just, no. Sorry, the butthole. <laughs> um, no, the anus is not a bad word. No, I said oh, okay, a hole. Right. So, so sorry. get yourself a rectal thermometer at least for the first two months after that. We're going to go to something simple, underarm. What do we um, got here? No, we got some more. So vitamin D drops. Did you give these? Uh, we probably did. I don't remember. It's it's amazing what you don't remember. I know. Right? It's I know. like I probably did all this stuff, but like it's so long ago. <laughs> so, so what is it for? So vitamin D is recommended for all breastfed babies, solely breastfed or partially breastfed babies okay. because breast milk is not a good source of vitamin D. So yep. you get 400 international units. There's a bunch of different brands. This is a nice one because you could literally put one drop on the breast if you wanted to or just squirt it right in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Others, um, you do a whole... Uh, you know, little syringe, but um, they need vitamin D as long as they're solely they breastfeeding or partially breastfeeding. It's amazing what you remember. Right. The other thing I really like is uh, probiotics. I'm a big fan. You know probiotics? Yeah, again, well, yeah, we yeah. did use that. We did so use that. So probiotics, actually, we don't know what causes colic, like I said, but there have been studies linking that probiotic, specific, specifically lactobacillus ruteri, which is the, the bacteria in this, actually can decrease fussiness and colic. Mm. So I like it for babies who are gassy and fussy. There's a bunch of different brands. This is BioGaia, which I really like. It's five drops in the mouth daily. You can use it every day. You can use it as needed. It's safe. Um, it's just a nice little extra if it helps. There you have it. Yeah. The opinions expressed in this program are not intended as professional medical advice, as a diagnosis, as a treatment protocol, or as a substitute for professional medical advice from your physician. 
Please consider your own medical history and consult with your own physician for your specific health care and or medical needs and about your concerns for yourself and your family.